All right, so it looks like he's walking this way now and he's getting pretty close. He's about 20 yards away from us. Let's draw back. There's going to be a new bow coming out soon in Call of the Wild called the Alexander Longbow. And this bow might be my new all-time favorite bow in Call of the Wild. But one of the reasons that I think you're going to love this bow and one of the reasons I love this bow, one of the main reasons I love this bow is because it shoots just like the bow in the Hunter Classic. That means you can use the tip of the broadhead to take from a 20 all the way out to like a 40-yard shot with this longbow. So anything from 20 and less, you want to use the tip of the broadhead and put it just on the top. So like, say the top of the lung, you put it right there, and that's pretty much exactly where you're gonna hit. A perfect bullseye right there at about 20 yards out. Let's go for like a 25 yard shot. So we're gonna have to hold kind of like right on the spine right there. That's almost a 10 as well. Now, here's the thing. When you're shooting 30 or 40, basically what you wanna do is hold the center of the broadhead right where you wanna hit. So the way I look at this is you see how the arrow shaft where the broadhead kind of connects to the tip of the arrow right there. That is exactly where you want to aim or you want to hold the longbow. Right there. That's actually not bad. That's a seven. So we are a slight bit high. But if we hold a little bit lower right there, we're hitting a nine or an eight. But yeah, that's a that's a pretty good shot. We'll take one more shot here just because I feel like we can get that. I mean, that's pretty consistent. Another pretty solid eight. This longbow is going to be pretty efficient at out to 40 yards. And the cool part about this is it actually comes with three different sizes of arrows and broadheads. We're going to have 350 grains for turkey and small game. We're going to have 450 grain for like white teal, mule deer, and um, I don't know, mountain lion. And then we'll have 700 grains for anything that's going to be really big like elk moose all the way up to water buffalo and cape buffalo i've been watching this really nice pronghorn lately he's a big four and i believe he's like a dark color variation because when you see him he kind of stands out from the rest of the herd of pronghorn and i really want to try and get him with the longbow it's going to be incredible if we can get close enough to take this shot and make it happen but you know what there's only one way to find out if we can make it happen we just snuck up to a really nice herd of pronghorn antelope out here and that guy right there is a really nice size four he's about 30 yards out and i think he's like a dark color as well so he's definitely in range for the longbow but we gotta get him to step forward just a little bit because he's right next to that tree oh that's what we want right there he's about 30 out on the walk oh he stopped we just smoked him i'm pretty sure that was the right one <laughs> That was the third attempt at trying to sneak up on this big old dark colored pronghorn. This thing looks pretty awesome. I saw him the other day actually. I didn't know he was going to be a big four, but the fact that he's a big old four makes it just that much better. This thing looks so cool. I really want to get him mounted and put him in the trophy lodge. That is in fact him and he's a dark 78 score. We got a double lung at 19 yards away, but take a look at how cool that pronghorn looks right there. That is pretty awesome. Well, I figured we'd give it a try to try and find some turkey out here. Now that is what I like to see. We got a big old redhead coming in here at about 80 yards out from us. We got a couple of decoys set up right in front of us here. And we got our caller, and I'm hoping that this big gobbler comes right into these decoys. This time, oh yeah, he's coming in fast, actually. Look at, look at, look at, look at, I basically just want to, like, watch him as he's coming in. It's a good-sized gobbler. But since we're in a tree stand right now, I really don't think that there's any reason that this thing should spook anytime soon. So, I just want to get him to come in nice and close and see if he actually hangs around the decoys. Looks like he's actually feeding right there. All right, he's coming into the decoys. Look at this. He's about 30 yards away from us right now. You can see the decoys on the right side there, but he's slowly working his way in. See, what I like to see him do right now is strut and then walk around a little bit and then, well, basically just strut. See, just like that, but stay strutted out for maybe, you know, I would say sometimes they strut for like 30 seconds to a minute, sometimes longer, and then they walk around. See, normally if he was this close and you put out a call, he would gobble. And he's not gobbling, so I'm hoping that they gobble a little bit more, too. I don't want to call that much because he could spook, but... 
Yeah, I think we're gonna wait and see if he like wanders off a little bit and then call. I still don't think we can let him get too much closer. Oh my god. That was awesome. Oh my god. Wow. Right underneath us. And yeah, I think we'll take a picture of him as well. Now, notice you can see the arrow in the wing. I notice a lot of times when you see the arrow in the wing, that means you get a lung or a heart shot, which I mean, I guess potentially we could have hit the heart. You never even know. So we'll take a cool picture of this and let's pick him up. Ended up with the left lung liver at eight yards away. He scored 4.3 gold. Let's just take a look at how we did there. I thought we might have hit a little far back and we did hit just a little bit back, but he was walking and uh, yeah, I'm actually pretty happy with that shot. You know what? Eight yards away. That's going to be our second turkey with the Alexander longbow as well. So yeah, let's get him mounted. Very cool. So I've been after this bighorn sheep that I saw a couple days ago. I found his track, but I've yet to see him. There he is. He's 30 yards away right in this thick brush right in front of us. Now we don't have a shot, but if we're patient enough, he should eventually start working his way this way and hopefully we'll be able to take a nice shot. All right, it looks like he's slowly working his way out a little bit further. He's actually stopped right there at maybe 20, 25 yards out. I know it says 11 yards, but really he's... Maybe he is 11 yards away. <sighs> oh, he's so close. I didn't realize he was this close. I really didn't realize he's this close. He's, he's right there. All right, so he's actually stopped perfectly broadside right there at about 20 yards out. And I think we're going to go for this. Let's draw back. It looked like a perfect shot. And he's down. Nice. Big ram down with... The new longbow. I can't wait to see how we actually did. I think we got double lung. I don't know. That might have actually been heart. Yeah, we're a little bit low. That could have been a heart shot. Let's find out how we did. Nice ram. That was a double lung at 18 yards away. He's going to score 155. That's our biggest ram yet. Let's take a look at that shot though. Actually hit a little bit behind the front shoulder. The heart is way, way far forward. If you look there, you can see it's like almost identically in line with the front shoulder you literally have to hold in front of the shoulder to hit the heart but i mean we still smoked him though double lung 18 yards away that's an awesome looking ram i think we'll get him mounted look at the curls on this beast of a bighorn oh i absolutely love how it curls back like that that's how you know you get a big one when they curl over and then curl back in once they do that that's when it's a big ram So actually I thought I'd show you guys where we just got this huge bighorn sheep. It's not too far away from the Lone Island Lake here. In case once you get the map, you can actually go to this location and find some bighorn. It is by the Lone Island Lake here. There's two different lakes kind of. One, there's an island here, a lake, and then there's a little lake here. Right here, there's a need zone from 4 o'clock until 6. So I had to get out here at 4 o'clock in the morning. I set up a stand here at first, but the thing is that the uh, bighorn that we saw was a little too far away, and we ended up taking him down right over here. But yeah, from 4 o'clock until 6 o'clock in the morning. So now that we know the longbow can take down small game and medium game animals just fine, I thought we'd give it a try on some big game animals. We're going to head out to Parque Fernando and then Africa. That's actually not a bad sized water buffalo, right? There. Ooh, that looked like a pretty solid hit to me. Ended up with a silver at 131, but double lung with the 700 grain broadhead traditional arrows at 40 yards. I mean, that right there is, that's an awesome shot. I don't think I could have made a better shot with the compound compared to this. It's like maybe not past like 50 yards, but all the way out to like 40, 45 yards. I mean, it's pretty accurate. Well, since we can use the 700 grain arrows and broadheads on the water buffalo, I imagine we could probably use them on the Gemsbach as well. That's a huge four out there at about 40 yards out, but she's kind of working her way this direction. I think we're going to go for a shot. 
slide over a little bit, like right there. That's a perfect spot, actually. <sighs> oh, that looked like an awesome hit. I guess it looks like she's down. She's right there, 90 yards out from us. Man, that might have been double lung. It was going like right above the heart and it looked like it just smoked her. Let's go over and go take a look how it actually did. All right, here she is. And if you look at the shot placement of where the arrow is, I mean, that thing must have just barely missed the heart, which that's an awesome shot. Let's pick her up and see how we actually did. Ended up with a double lung at 43 yards out. So it dropped a little bit low, but 330, that thing was almost a diamond. Wow. That thing has some massive horns on it. Now the 700 grains drop a little bit more than say the 350s or the 450s as to be expected. Cause I was trying to hold for kind of the center of the lung. I mean, I anticipated we would drop maybe like three or four inches, but I would say we dropped probably like five or six. We hit somewhere around right here, but still smoked that huge female Gemsbach. And we can't come all the way to Africa and not hunt the Cape Buffalo. I just found a giant Cape Buffalo, not this one. This is a seven right here, but there's an absolute massive Cape Buffalo bedded right there at about 40 yards away. There he is. It's a nine legendary dime potential Cape Buffalo. He's right there 40 yards away from us, but he's in a lot of thick brush there. I don't know if we're gonna be able to take this shot or we have to get a little bit closer because to be able to thread one through there is gonna be, it's gonna be tricky. Let's actually wait till he steps forward a little bit more. Yeah, we're going to have to... I guess we're going to have to try and get closer to him. Well, we just snuck up to about 30 yards away from this huge Cape Buffalo. He's right there, but I think we might have to take a shot through a little bit of brush here. look good <gasps> time to run oh nice he just piled up he piled up right there oh we're about to get attacked by a ton of cape buffalo but you know what we got what we wanted that's a vital hit right there I don't exactly want to run past these guys I guess we'll grab them He's a diamond, a huge diamond too. A 158 diamond cape buffalo. Ended up making a pretty awesome shot considering we can barely see him. Um, but yeah, I figured we would get taken out. <laughs> 32 yards away, a 158 diamond bighorn cape buffalo there. That is awesome. We'll be able to take a little bit better look at uh, this cape buffalo here in a second, but I honestly waited for like 20 minutes for this guy to step out into the open a little bit more so you could see him better, but it wasn't going to happen, especially the fact that he was surrounded by about seven or eight different Cape Buffalo, including like two mythicals and two big sevens that were all within 20 yards away from this thing. One was right on top of him and I just couldn't figure out a way to get a shot off. Finally, I could kind of see him just enough, maybe at this angle, like right there and oh, snuck it right below the horn there and you can see it tucked in there nicely nice double lung at 32 yards away a diamond cape buffalo Well guys, welcome back to our trophy lodge here and we had a pretty successful hunt today and everything that we got was with the Alexander Longbow and the fact that we got this giant diamond Cape Buffalo with it, that just tops the icing on the cake. But we also got a huge gobbler and a massive bighorn sheep and this guy, a really cool looking big dark pronghorn antelope. That was an amazing hunt. And honestly, I cannot wait to keep using this Alexander Longbow from now on. 
I officially took my Hawk Edge bow out of my inventory and that's all I'm going to use from now on. Well, not only because obviously I'm going to be using other rifles or other shotguns, not just the bow. But when I do use the bow, I'm going to be using the Alexander Longbow and I can't wait to keep using it and keep hunting with it. And I'm sure you guys are going to absolutely love it because the fact is you can actually use it and hit something consistently. And that is a big deal for a traditional bow. But overall, this is what our little trophy lodge looks like. We have our huge gobbler on the left. We have our huge rare leucistic gobbler right in the middle of their full strut. Our big bighorn sheep that we got today with the longbow, 155 score on him. The big gobbler that we had today that snuck into like eight yards away. That's the one that is uh, kind of walking in the back there. The huge diamond cape buffalo. We got it 30 yards away with the longbow and our dark pronghorn antelope that we got as well but yeah that's gonna be it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope you love this longbow as soon as it comes out thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time